Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install lots in Photoshop, how to properly install and use lots in Photoshop. This is a question I get all the time because I have some lots that I sell and I have some lots that I give out for free. So, if you are in Photoshop, let's just close, um, let's just delete that color lookup. Um, the best way to use lots in Photoshop is to come down to your adjustment layers and open your color lookup now once you open your color lookup you would have to click on the load 3d lot and you see all the slots here so these are lots that are provided by photoshop and for the most part a lot of people do not use them so um the other way to go about it is to load 3d lot and then look for where you have your lots in um on your pc and for me they are my documents so i'm just going to go to my documents and open my lots folder Okay, so now I'm in my lots folder and if I want to use one of my skin tone lots, all I have to do is just pick one of my skin tone lots, let's say six, and apply it to the image, so before and after. And that's really simple, it's a very simple process to, you know, use your lots. But what if you can replace all the lots here in um, Photoshop with your own personal lots or lots that you've bought or other lots that you're going for free and you just want to use those lots. So it's very simple, all you have to do is close Photoshop so now we are not going to save any of these files so make sure photoshop is make sure you quit photoshop right and then the next thing you want to do is go to where your photoshop folder is on your pc uh, on the mac is applications then go into photoshop then go into presets and then go into 3d lots so now when you're in 3d lots you can see all your lots all your photoshop lots right here now to hide these lots and not see these lots um the best thing to do is create a new folder um your pc might prompt you for your password so just make sure you enter that and i would name this photoshop lot so it's very um distinct right now go to the end of your lot folder and then put this command there and what this is going to do is that this is going to hide this folder and when you're in Photoshop you would not see this folder anymore so right now let's just copy every other thing copy 27 items and paste them then okay so now that we've done that we can delete all of this just move this to trash prompt me for my password and let's delete this too and it will prompt me for my password Okay, so now that I've gotten this out of the way, um, when you get your lots, you'll probably get them in zip folder. Um, when you're on Mac, all you have to do is just double click and just go into unzip it, double click and you unzip it. But I'm very, very sure there are, you know, different ways to go about this in um, on your PC. So I don't know because I don't use a PC, but um, yeah. But another thing I'll do is that I'll put a path in the description below. Um, to photoshop on pc and it should work it, it's definitely the same thing you know all you have to do is just find your photoshop folder and your 3d lots and it would work the exact same way so right now all i want to do is just check my lots okay so for my skin tone lots i'm just going to move the whole folder and authenticate and put my password in so i have the whole folder here and then oh I, I should have copied it instead of moved but that's fine then for my color lots this is my tropical color lots i'm just going to copy and i'm going to paste this here too okay great and for my creative color lots i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste them too and put in my password okay so right now i have all these lots right here in the Photoshop 3D um, lot folder. Now, another thing that you should bear in mind is that your lots are probably going to be um, in either cube or is it 3DL? I can't remember the other one, but most times they're in cube and that's fine, you know, they'll work in Photoshop. Now, a mistake a lot of people do is that they try to drag it into Photoshop. It's not going to work that way. So this is the best way to go about it. Now that we have all this here, open Photoshop and let's open one of these images open with photoshop so now we have all our images in photoshop and if you go down to your adjustment layers open your color lookup 3d lot now you can see all the lots here 
in photoshop all the lots you installed you can see them here in photoshop and you can't actually see the other ones that you know photoshop put that was because of the command that we put at the back of that folder you know so just make sure you do the same exact thing and you will not see the old lots and you can see all your new lots here so for this particular image i'm going to use my skin tone lots and if i put it on top you guys can see it before and uh, after then you can just go through a few and find the one that works for you absolutely love this one this one works best so that's it um the next one let's go to this particular image and the same thing um color look up and now i'm going to use my creative color lots and probably just pick one out of my creative color lots as you guys can see um just look for something that works for you um if you want to get any of my lots you guys can get them at my digital store i'll put a link in the description below and also put a card up here to all my lots if you guys want to get any of my lots and i have some freebies too so you can get my um, blue tone lots for free so definitely go check that out and for this last image we'll do the same thing we're just going to come down here go to color lookup and you can pick a particular lot that you would like to use for an image like this now if you feel like the lot is too strong all you have to do is come to your opacity pull your opacity down you know all the way and just use that to adjust you know your lots and that's about it that is how to install lots in photoshop and have them um right here instead of going into your um load 3d lot to actually use it i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have give this video a thumbs up and also comment below let me know um if this has helped you in any way thanks so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day peace out guys